Now it's time to get the inside scoop on all the electricity going on in Mississippi Thunder Speedway. It's time for Thunder Talk with Dan Bailey, brought to you by Jailhouse Saloon. Now, here's your host, Dan Bailey. Another week, another edition of Thunder Talk. I'm Dan Bailey. Thank you very much for tuning in as we prepare for another week of racing action at Mississippi Thunder Speedway. Joining me this week on Thunder Talk is a gentleman who had a great run last Friday night in the Black Horse Bar and Grill USRA B-Mod Division, coming away with a very close second place feature finish. Colby Mann, driver of the number 60 machine. Colby, welcome to this week's edition of Thunder Talk. Hey, thanks, Dan, for having me. Colby, you have not been to uh, Mississippi Thunder Thunder Speedway every week this year, but the stats that you've compiled on your few trips have been pretty promising, including last Friday night's second place finish. How are you liking 2019? Yeah, I don't know. It's got off to a late start because of baseball. We've been playing high school ball here. We lost in the section championship, but been playing all the way up till June or so here. So yeah, I only ran the rumble the two nights and then just Friday night here was my only other night there so so are you feeling like you will run the schedule through the rest of 2019 yeah that's the plan anyway until i head off to college but we still got many more nights before that let's go back to last friday night's finish it looked like the track was very racy for you right down around the bottom you were getting a great run on the eventual feature winner ryan olsen couldn't quite get the win but does a night like last friday night energize you as you move forward into this friday night yeah for sure yeah i don't know it was a definite confidence boost this was our third night this year but the first few i mean we started in the back so just worked our way up through some decent finishes but we finally drew good last night so finished up front i guess and yeah it was definite confidence booster for sure. They always say that hindsight is twenty twenty. That's the cliche. Looking back on last Friday night's race, do you feel like there's anything that you could have done differently that might have improved your finishing position by that all-important one spot to get that feature win? I don't know. I mean, we were, it was kind of just locked down there on the bottom, and I, I got to him, but last traffic I was hoping was going to kind of change things or thought maybe a bobble there and I'd be able to get underneath but no I, I don't know if there was much I could have jumped up top I guess but other than I think Williamson was up there other than that I don't know what there was for activity up there so when you're in a situation like that where you feel like you need to be running at the bottom but maybe there's traffic there or the person you're competing against is also running at the bottom what does it take as a driver to change your mind and make you think okay now it's time maybe for me to try that high line, for example, that Alex was using last week? I don't know. I think it's just more of a risk that you want to take, maybe. Being that I haven't got the first feature win yet, I, I wasn't really willing to take the risk, but say I had a handful of them, like a lot of the guys do out there, I probably would have taken the chance and jumped up to see if there's something there, but I don't know, yeah, it's basically just a risk you're going to take. One of the big games in this racing world is getting that car set up just perfectly. On the heels of a strong run like you had last Friday night, how do you decide whether or not you want to make some additional changes or if you want to try this coming Friday night with the same setup that you had last week? It's mainly based on track conditions from that night, but we, we've been messing with stuff. I mean, you're always trying to get quicker because every other car out there is changing too, so if you just stay the same, I mean, they're all going to get quicker, so you're, you're always adjusting, I guess, but based on track conditions, kind of how you go off of it. When you end up with a good night like last Friday night, second place in this extremely competitive B-Mod division is a good run for any of the racers out there. When you come off a strong night like that, are those individuals who support you enjoying it just as much as you? Uh, I hope so. <laughs> I know my dad was anyways, but I mean, anyone on board, all the sponsors, I'm sure they're enjoying it as much as I am. Why don't you run through a list of those local and area businesses who are helping out your racing efforts for 2019? No, I'm in with gutters. My dad there. Whipke for out of ice in Minnesota. He's a big sponsor. bought all our hats this year. It's so apparel stuff. So, big thanks to him. And then held on your true value. My grandpa, a bunch other on board, Tolson Construction, Fire Concrete, LDR, building the car there, KS Engineering, Echo a Power Plant. I think that covers them all. It's always great to have those supporters along when you head to the track, isn't it? Yeah, it, it, it definitely takes every one of them to get us out there. 
It's it's a spendy hobby. Now, you had mentioned almost just in passing that uh, you'll be starting college next year. Do you have any idea how that will affect your racing efforts? Are you going to be able to balance both of them, or are you going to have to take a break from racing, focus only on your studies? What's going to happen, for example, in uh, 2020 and beyond? We'll find out, I guess. I hope, hope to continue racing as much as we have in the past, but obviously college is going gonna, gonna to take away from it, I'm sure some, especially fall specials, we won't be able to run as much, but the car ain't going nowhere, so hopefully it keeps up, I guess. All right, well, Colby, man, congratulations on that strong run last week. I know you wanted that feature win, but uh, I have a feeling that uh, that feature win can't be too far off in your future. Who knows, it may be happening this week or the next. Again, congratulations on that run last week, and best of luck with your pursuits not only this Friday night at Mississippi Thunder Speedway, but also through the remainder of the 2019 season. Thank you, and thanks for having me. A big thank you to Colby Mann for joining me this week on Thunder Talk. Come on down to the jailhouse saloon. Yeah, come on down to the jailhouse saloon. The Jailhouse Saloon is where everyone wants to do time. Come on in and nab up some of the best homemade pizza around. The Jailhouse has happy hour weekdays from 2 until 6, free pool on Mondays, and lunch every day at a great price. The Jailhouse Saloon, where everyone wants to do time. 